Hello and welcome back to another video at Take Refuge 3D with me, Peter. Now, I think Plasticity is objectively one of the best 3D softwares out there. Does it do everything? No, it does not. But the reason that I think it's one of the best is because it knows exactly what it is. It's not a Swiss Army knife like Blender that does a little bit of everything. And Blender is amazing software um but you know its sculpting tools are not as niche as um zebrush its compositing tools are not as niche as after effects or nuke but it does everything right um it's also plasticity is not a extreme level parametric cad software where you have to draw out sketches uh, in order to start extrapolating your model. Well, it kind of is, but not in that way. Um, it it is it does what it says on the tin. It's CAD for artists. Now, um, we got version 1 just a couple months ago, and now we're on version 1.2, and it just gets better with every version. There's loads of cool new tools. Now, I am pretty much a novice when it comes to plasticity um and and cad in general like i first picked it up a couple of months ago and i've been making a few videos and um some of you have joined me on that journey um but today i thought we'd look at some of the surfacing tools because apparently they've improved quite a lot in um plasticity 1.2 um you can watch other videos by uh pixel fondue and nikita kapustin um as well as some others i'll try and put a couple up on the screen that are good to look at um but i'm i'm gonna make an asset today somebody asked the other day um because i made an add-on um which is the engon asset it's a it's a plugin for blender which is basically designed to take your plasticity model into Blender and prepare it for game models and texturing software um, so you don't have to wrangle as much. It's not perfect, um, but it does uh, speed up that process. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for that as well. But I love to make game assets, and somebody the other day said um, they'd like to see the whole process of making a model in plasticity, uh, bringing it through into Blender, using my plugin to optimize the mesh baking the normals and the texturing software and then texturing it and getting it game ready um so i thought i'd do that process and to celebrate getting 420 subs the other day blaze it um i thought i would make a pipe and then i thought that was kind of boring so I thought I would make a shisha pipe and in this world of sci-fi hard surface assets I think something a little bit more ye olde worldy um, is a little bit more uh, fun so I have made a mood board here okay a shisha or a hookah if you uh, how uh, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it um, so I, I got these three images at the top here just to remind me I'm making a hard surface object but uh, I want to keep it simple and I got some ideas for materials and shapes and honestly I think I'm going to go with this um, it's you can see on uh, here I've already started having a play around to see what I can do and uh, we're going to do a bit of lofting and and stuff like that there's still quite a lot to to do here um, so let's crack into it um the first part will model in plasticity i'll probably just go through the basics and then speed it up um let me know if you'd like to see a uh you know a, a longer slowed down version um and then we will uh uh in chapter three we will bake the normals and uh, other maps and then we will texture it in substance designer and then we will bring it into a scene either in Unreal or Unity or maybe even just an EV or Mama set. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll do more than one engine. And uh, yeah, let's crack into it. So um, I'll put this on the other screen. Um, so I've got that. Actually, what I might do, 
for all of your uh, help is I might just get it up on this screen here and with my mood boards I like to change the colors of the background of pure ref um, by the way if you don't know what pure ref is this is a reference board um, application which is really easy and great to use where you can save many different reference boards um, of different or different pictures rather and um, it's great you don't have to pay for it but you can donate they've got to pay what you want model and it seems to work because they keep updating it okay so we've got our screencast keys on and we've got our reference over there so let's um, start a new file and we will press number four on our keyboard and delete our default cube so pressing one to go into front mode what we're going to do is we're just going to get a line tool and we're going to find out where our center is which is over here and we're just going to pull it across like that so what we're doing here is we're just slowly building up our curves so i'm going to start this one here and we're going to use a spline curve and bring that around and we're going to bring it almost around to the center but not quite around about I think there will do we'll press one and what we want to do is actually we want to grab these two control points press s on our keyboard x and zero it out so we've got more of a round shape and i think i want to just bring this one down a little bit and i want to bring this one down a little bit so i'm just trying to keep this um overall shape and what we might do is take these four and just scale them like that and drag them a little bit to the left so you can see that we're kind of getting this shape here um, I'm not going to be completely accurate or anything we're just going to make a really rough shape because this is going to be about lofting so what I might do is I might build up this curve um, using the exact actions that I've just used and then I will resume the video in a little bit so I'm just going to make this angle so Getting another spline curve. What we want to do is just bring this uh, out a little bit and drag it all the way down to the bottom so we've got our uh, pipe going through. We don't need to connect it. Just make sure it's not intersecting any of the ways up there okay and then we can get rid of our maybe i'll leave the reference there for now okay press number two to go into um curve mode and we just want to join these curves okay and then we're going to grab our revolve tool take it to the origin which i believe it should be the origin and just pull that down click and pull down okay and as you can see here we've got a very um well a um a not a, a particular it doesn't look like that we don't have all of those curves and this is where the surfacing is going to come in okay so i'm going to hide our curve um for now and we're going to have a look at this and we're going to do some surfacing and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show a couple of examples and then i'll speed it up again so you can see the the rest of the building and once again let me know if you want a slow slowed down version of this video i'm completely happy to upload that as well um, as a separate video um, or maybe as an unlisted video um, and i don't know we'll, we'll figure that out so lofting you've probably seen lofting before is this uh so what we can do is we can go into top mode make a circle here make a circle here on the line shift shift d duplicate it scale and go into point mode 
attach that to there go into front mode and attach that to the beginning as well now when we loft these two together we've got that and if we do that we get that so if we actually uh, rotate this on a radial array um, we should be able to hypothetically loft those and then use these as um, controls to make a funny shape okay and then we can uh, I'm just going to unlock this okay and we'll get rid of our curves now we made this shape through lofting and then what we could do uh, really is like let's say we can want to duplicate this we can then use these to loft between there and then we get these g1 and g2s so g0 is basically a straight line g1 is a little bit of a curve and you should be able to see that there is a shading error there um, but g2 does that so you might want to go from g0 to g2 and so forth and then what we can do is we know that we had one one two three four five six seven eight of those we can do a radial array on that okay and should be able to find the center um actually let's just patch this hole okay and that's all g and you can see what it does there but we're going to just stick with g0 and now we're going to use the center of that the radial array this okay and then we come up with eight exactly because that's what plasticity defaults to but you can obviously do more and we're not actually wanting to rotate that so we're going to do the radial array again oh we're going to do the in four we're going to do the radial array again and we've got that right click j to join and then we can four join 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 and then we've got this object here we can then use our normal um, bevels and fillets and chapters won't work on this one though because we don't have the obviously it doesn't work but so you can see there we've built that up from just a couple of curves so that's just the concept now with this uh this is what we're going to kind of do here but um i'm like i said before i'm not a pro surfacer or anything like that um i just uh am learning myself but i think uh if you don't know I might be able to help you out so i'm going to press three i'm going to press shift x to get rid of that and if we press two you can see that's a whole circle and we actually want to separate that by using a split curve edge at point um i have if i press f on my keyboard i've you can see that i've set that up for alt e so if you type in split uh hang on if we uh what was it called um, if we type in f and type in spl i split segment there i've set it up as alt e and if you right click that you can um add a shortcut so I, it's saying remove for me because i've already added it so what we'll do is i'm going to make this guy smaller And we'll just put him up there just so we've got something always to look at. And I can always zoom out and remind myself what I'm looking for. So because this is one and this is one, you'll notice if we loft it, we only get the option uh, on one side. And sometimes that doesn't always have the behavior that you want. Um, in this case, it kind of does. But I'm going to stick with my Alt E. And you, you can set it to anything that you like. Um, I'm going to click Alt-E. And if you know of a better way um, to do this, 
uh, please let me know. I, I don't know how to subdivide a edge on a sheet. So if there's a way to do that, I'm just going to go back and make sure. Okay, so what we want to do as we bring our, so you, you press Alt E and as we bring it around, okay, you'll get different uh, options on the edge. So this is saying three quarters, the other side should say one quarter, but it doesn't always lock to what you want it to. That can be a little bit fiddly. So as we drag that around, we should get somewhere. And what I want to do is, you may not be able to see it, but I will record this in 4K. But we want to get the one that's opposite this edge end here. And it will be called middle. And I believe it's just there. And now we should have, oh, it did not work. Okay. Maybe if we do it in point mode. Let's get the one that says three quarters. Okay. And then we want the one that says Actually, what we might do is actually get rid of this one and see what we can do from here because that's kind of playing up. Middle, yep, we got the middle there. And then now that we've got, uh, if we go into two, you'll see that we've got two sides to this. And then once we go Alt-E again, or, you know, you go to your split segment. This will now be the middle of those two. And on this side, this will be the middle of those two, if we can find it. So we go two. Yep, we should go Alt-E, and we should be able to find the middle just there. And now we've got four segments. So I want to use one segment at a time. And we need to do the same up here. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of examples and then I'm going to speed the video up again. Okay, so our middle should be, uh, let's just, our middle should be around here somewhere. So we've got that side there. If we go one, three, control three. Now we're on that side. And then we've got the middle. So now we've got two segments. And then it starts to get a bit easier. Okay, so now we've got the four segments. So I'm going to use this segment. We're going to press L to loft. Okay. And do I like that shape? Uh, G2. So I want a G1 and I think a uh, G1. Yep. And now I'm just going to press Alt-Z, go... And I'm going to radial array. Now I have set up a auto hot pie. This is a, a separate app. Um, there's a pixel fondue video on this. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll do a little explanation or video on this as well. But um, I do believe that plasticity has pie menus in the works. But I've set up a few different things on this. So I'm pressing Alt A to get this. And I've got my radial array. And I'm just going to roll my mouse cursor up until I've got four and I'm going to join those. Okay, so there we go. And now I'm going to uh, do the same over here. Once again, I'm going to have to uh, split this curve. So I'm going to go opposite the main curve. And that should be directly above there. And once you've got some guides like these here, it's a bit easier to find it. Okay, so we'll go like that into two mode and we'll loft that. And I think we'll leave this as G, G uh, 
one and maybe make that a G one as well. And then we're just gonna uh, Alt V into X-ray mode so we can find the center and we're gonna do another circular array. Roll our mouse shift and roll our mouse forward until we get four and then join that together. So if we now turn off our uh, edges, you'll start to see we are getting these these details. Now on a crazy hard surface sci-fi model, you might want, not want stuff like this, but I think this gives it a little bit of organic um, organicness. So now really what I want to do, I'm going to put the edges back on and press 4 and I'm going to Take a step back and I want to try and join these and join this and join this and it should have ended up with a solid but what I'll do is I'll just click patch holes and it's turned back into a solid. Okay so looking at our guy up here we've got this here. I don't actually think that we need to, uh, we, these could do with a nice little bevel or a fillet rather, but I do want to uh, get rid of the flat nature of uh, these here. So um, once again, finding the middle, which seems to get easier as you go along. And Sorry if this is a little bit boring, like I'm not the best at this and I'm probably that sure there's a faster way, but surfacing isn't really the fastest modeling technique uh, that I'm aware of, but I do quite enjoy it. So this is quite fun. So let's loft that and that's on a G1. Let's put it on a G2 and I'll maybe put this, this on a G2 and this on a G1. Yeah, that's what I want. And... Uh, we'll go into x-ray mode and a radial array and down to four segments. And let's just join that together out of x-ray. And these kind of exercises are really good because it's just about muscle memory and just getting used to it. Um, I'm not sure if I like this here, but I don't know if there's a lot I can do about it. Nope. So... It's okay. This is just a tutorial. Let's see if I can bevel that one. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Kind of getting distracted here briefly. But just giving these little fillets. Giving a little bit of shape so it, it's not a Humpty Dumpty. But, you know, wobbles and falls over. Especially if you're going to bring it into a game engine and you've got a convex mass. You kind of want it to stand upright without tipping over its own curves um, and I'll likely start to speed up but we'll just um, do this one as well so I should be able to find the middle there should be able to find the middle there and on there no that's not the middle that one uh, let's just go back a couple of steps okay so this is the big one And that's the middle there. And this one should be a middle there. Okay, so we got that there. And we haven't done it on this one. So should be able to find the middle there. Middle there. And the middle there. Okay, so let's go. Oh, <laughs> too many. Okay, let's loft that. I think I want this to be a G2. Uh, let's turn our edges off to see how the shading looks. No, I think this needs to be a G2. We'll make that a... And we'll make that a G2 as well. Okay. And then we'll get our edges back on just so we can see what we're doing. And, and as you can see, I'm speeding up because I'm getting used to it. So 
let's see what different objects we've got here we've got all these sheets and let's just in floor mode let's just select the whole lot and press j it's all back into one solid now and as you can see we're starting to build up a nice organic shape now if we go into our reference board these things that can get quite ornate and there's always little curves and nooks and things like that um, and we're really just trying to build these uh, organic kind of looking shapes now I really like this um, uh, place to put the hookah in and I also really like the shape of these um cords for smoking and look we've got some of these antique guys with crazy that's probably a bit blurred but crazy hand claws i like the materials on this even though it's blurry as all hell and the cord here is amazing despite an extremely ugly color i no offense to anybody who enjoys that and this one's quite simplistic but i quite like it for its uh you know an and it's a tropic uh, texturing on there, but I'm using the sketch as a as a reference, um, and we'll go back to that, and we'll just keep working on this now. I think this one we will also curve out, so we really want to get the middle, okay, and the middle and where's the other middle i think it's there yep so we should have four yeah and let's just loft that yeah i think that's starting to look cool so we'll radial array this one Take it down to four. As you can see, you can type the number in here. You can type in, you know, four. Um, and join those together. And then let's just join those together. And those together. Back to having a solid. Now, I think for these ones here, I'm just going to use a traditional fillet. Um, just for the speed of this tutorial. Although, I think once we get to here, I think, oh, we'll traditionally fill it those. Okay, so we got that. I'm really starting to look the, like the look of this, guys. and let's just work on the rest of it and i will take us to the next step shortly
So there we have it, guys. We've got the basic shape of our, our hookah pipe, which is the one that we copied here. And um, next we will work on this uh, extension here for the uh, smoking apparatus, the pipe itself. Uh, separated from the, the body, the bong. And I think what this is showing, I mean, it has been a little bit tedious and I've probably sped quite a lot of it up. But what we've got here is we've built surfaces with the lofting tools and plasticity. And if we just look at this reflective uh, mat cap with the uh, edges off, you can see there's all the like just, just here just these little details and this kind of goes to show that you know like but you don't always want these imperfections between these uh different um you don't always want the imperfections between the different uh surfaces but i think in this case it really kind of makes it feel like a handcrafted blown glass or, or you know uh molded metal in ancient times and i think it looks really cool and i think once we get it textured and everything it's going to look even cooler okay so i've got this bulbous shape and then we've got all of these curves coming up and down now um let me see if i can append something in uh like one of our isolate it so as you can see i did a much more basic version um and this is how I practiced it. Um, and that looks cool too. But um, let's get rid of that. Maybe I'll put on the screen of what this looks like originally. Okay, and we just have these jagged edges. And if we turn off our show edges and we'll just put a material on here. We've got this bulb coming up around... And then even inside here, um, we've got our slight curves, curves here. And when we bring that into a game engine, um, and we've got a lower poly model, maybe even a high poly for something like Nana, for the bake normals, all of those details are really gonna um, make the make the object look really, really complex. And that's what you want. You want it's simple but it's complex you know it's not just a straight line we've got a roundish curve so let's move on to the next portion which is to make our um our cord okay so i think let's just look at our reference board and i think i said i liked this cord so Let's go control F and bring that one in and let's just zoom in on that and try and get that shape even. So if we go into front mode in here and maybe we really want look we've almost got that lined up nicely. Or do we want it to come out of somewhere like here? So I'm spitballing. I didn't really practice this beforehand. Um, actually down here, I think. Let's give that a go. So we'll keep that in mind. And we'll zoom in on this. And what we're going to do is we're going to just, uh, I think we'll use this origin point here to make a circle. And we're just going to go into front mode and we're going to rotate it on the Y. So we got, yeah, vaguely adjacent to that. And I'm just going to scale it down. Okay, so 
so we can make that come out like that and you can see it's got a bit of a taper coming up there so we'll pull it out about we just want to really eyeball this we want it to be coming out actually i think it needs to be a bit thinner so do that not too thin we want it to be thinner at the bottom and a bit fatter at the top okay i think that looks okay i'm going to get rid of this curve it's annoying me and let's just make this uh outer side so we're going to scale scale and it's not very much of a lip but we will go into three we'll just bring that lip down like that and there's also one down here so i really just want to um what do i want to do i want to select this i want to press space to make it a construction plane and we'll make this a permanent construction plane so if you can see here i've got a temporary construction plane but i have selected it as a permanent construction plane so if i click it it'll go back to our plane and if we put our overlays back on you'll be able to see the the construction plane is there and if i double click it it'll make me face the center like that so what i really want to do now that i'm in this custom plane i want to shift d hang on i want to shift d my curve and i just want to drag it down here and i want to scale it in until we've got um g what are we looking at okay we want it out a bit and i just want to go into three mode we're going to go q q q q q and we've got all of those together now and let's just get rid of our curves okay so let's just fill up these okay and what i really want to do if i can is make a uh, surface let's get rid of our custom plane i want to make a surface okay we're going to select that out of this guy Oop. quite a big guy but let's fill it this unlike that and okay we need to kind of uh boolean this whole object into here with a union and then we should be able to get rid of some of that stuff and then let's just see if we can loft that we can but it doesn't really do anything so let's see if patch holes works no nope. so we've got how many portions have we got of this one two three four five six and so let's make four out of that actually just playing around here guys um well that uh did not work okay so let's just uh bring the smoking apparatus down okay let's work on the wooden piece which is the end of the pipe so i actually want to make this a little bit
more circular and what we'll do we'll just uh, duplicate the inside of this and scale it down a little bit go to our custom plane and drag it out and then we'll patch the holes on that and we'll make that a little bit fatter at the end but not too fat and we'll make it a little bit smaller so it just fits in there like that nice and gentle i'm going to give it a really soft fillet and now here's the fun part okay so we're going to make our we'll get rid of our custom plane for now and let's make our cord okay so i really like this cord that we've got here so let's just have a look at the different cords we've got i think i like this cord but the size of this cord and if we look at our like more sketchy kind of things I love this sketch um, and if we look at our other chords they're almost quite sci-fi these chords apart from this one which looks like it's made out of a cursed monkey um, all right so where are we this chord might just make this a little bit bigger for the sake of this okay so what we're going to do this is a trick that i've seen on a couple of uh videos including i believe pixel fondue um i'm going to go to our custom plane and we're going to scale this until we get that shape i mean i could make a a surface to give it more of this peak but actually we could probably just scale it on the y to do that but on the x okay and then i think i want to scale it down and we'll just call that chord for now and hide it and get rid of our custom plane i'm just going to get rid of this off screen um, and we really want to make a nice curve so there's a couple of new features um, to get the effect that we want so maybe I'm going to just get a plane in here press C to make it a square and I'll just um, And we'll just get out a orthographic mode and press f no press f and we want a curve i can't remember what it's called curve go down here Is it a bridge curve yeah so we can bridge it to any other face so and we'll go f bridge curve and we can have them resting up here okay so we kind of got our curve but there's a few things that we need to do to fix it so we're going to join these well let's just hide our hide our ground and kill our plane so i want to join these three together and press j and we want to rebuild the curve okay so we want some of these control points to come well, press one pull some of these control points out just gg and i think if we hold um, let's pull more of these out and
I'm going to pull some of these up. And maybe get rid of this guy. See how it goes when I get rid of this guy. Yeah, get rid of this guy. And we do want maybe a little bit further out. Because we want our balls to be resting on there. And we'll go with this GG. Okay, so let's unhide our cord. Unhide our cord. Unhide our cord. Okay, and we're going to go number four. And we're going to go, might just scale them up a bit. And go into my custom plane and scale them out a bit. G, oh, G, and grab them out. Get rid of the custom plane. And we're going to go F. We're going to search for curve array which is this one here i also have oh another problem with our curve here we need to get rid of this guy nope we need to uh bevel this guy hmm what happens if we just delete him we get all of that um Let's just pull these out a bit. So it looks a little bit more natural. Um, okay. Let's get our curve array. And roll it up until they're all overlapping. Now this might be quite a few objects, so it may slow down your PC, depending on, actually let's just, next out of that, let's actually just scale him quite a bit better. Go to our cluster and pain scale and just make him a little bit fatter, just for the sake of this tutorial. I don't want my PC crashing midway through. We can scale them on everything except the X, everything except the Y, everything except the Z. Scale on everything. Scale on everything except, yep, there we go. And let's make our chord curve array. That's more like it. And once they're overlapping, like so, let's just go back and look at our this chord. Starting to look similar. Okay. And then we can get these bulled together. Now this might take a little while. Okay, so just give it its moment to do its thing. Okay, there we go. Now, let's hide the other stuff for a moment. Okay, and go into... Get rid of our custom plane and go into edge mode. Select all of our edges. Delete our original curve. We don't need that anymore. And we just want to fill it, but you press B to fill it. And you might get a little bit of problems. I don't really want to fill it. I want to 
No, I don't want to fill it. I want to... Uh, chamfer, if I can. To get these kind of straight areas. But I want it to be less than that. Okay, good enough. Now let's get our other solids back in. Let's name them. So we got our solid number one, which is our base. Oh. Classic 3D artist, cap block on. Solid number two, which is our wooden attachment. Okay, and solid number three, which is our cord, which I'm just going to correct the thing. Now, with this wooden attachment, what I'm going to do is I am going to do a duplicate of it. So I'm just going to shift D it. GG. And I want the pipe part of it. So now that we've got the duplicate, I'm going to press Control and D, not Shift and D. And we're going to choose the pivot of that center. And then I'm going to bring it over here to the face of this. And I'm going to press F to flip it. And I'm going to press that. Okay. We're just going to do that one more time. Control and D. Choose our pivot to be the fat end. And we're going to put it on the face. Before we click to enter, I'm going to press F. Okay, and we're going to drag it into there. We're going to scale it up a bit. And once we've done that, we can actually leave it as its own individual object for now. And let's just, let's just make a um, O and that and let's just choose these two well let's make it go further in and choose these two and bevel them okay and let's just start uh, four and qq beautiful so there we have it we can delete that now a shisha pipe. So this is part one of the uh, tutorial. In part two, we're going to optimize the mesh. In um, we're going to optimize the mesh in Blender, and then we're going to bring it into the texturing software. So thanks for watching this part.